Alex Tanger is on pole for race one of the penultimate round, round 19 here at Road America. The green flag is out. Terrence Day is starting on outside pole, which just happens to be on the inside of this course. The outside is considered the optimal line heading into turns one and two. Mark Nutt makes it three wide down to the bottom with an aggressive move. Andrew Rick might go with him in the 23. Spencer Fullerton started quite well in this race. Not too surprising. He had a solid run last year in the rain. Of course, it's not raining here today, so things may be a little bit less sketchy here as, oh, we've got a wreck in the back. Through turns one and two towards the back of the field, and they're three wide for several several rows. Lots of drivers trying to make up some positions really early on when it's easy to Nicholas Samadio gets into the back of Andy Thomas, and that will send Gerald Reddington way off the course and into the wall. I do believe, believe yes, as he tries to spin that car back around and get back going. That's really going to hurt him. He's He may end up out of uh, championship contention here because of that. He was 24 points behind the points leader Mike Doan coming into this round, and you've got to be 34, point, uh, 34 points or less to be locked in to the season finale. The top five single files. We head down into the station five for the first time. Andrew Rick pulls out at the last second, and Rusty Babinski plows into his uh, rear end. Babinski, of course, this is his first lap. Uh, in race conditions on this track and he must have just locked him up uh, there heading into station five. Andrew Ricks got some damage. Rusty Babinski we're, uh, we're hearing is going to have to pit for that damage. You can hardly see out of that 41 car. Surprise he hasn't lost a position to Tristan Wilhoyt who's just behind as well as DJ Curtis. Back around 20th place and we're three wide up through turn number six and into turn seven. Bonarenko, Jose Bautista and and uh, I believe that Tyler Markell and the 10 car were just inches off one another through that corner. Great job by them to make that work. Jose Bautista all the way out onto the curbs, nearly into the grass there as they begin to settle things out on this very first lap. Zachary Fitzwater makes his wide, uh, way by Maxwell Chan in the 07 car. Two of the driver's lowest in points in this series uh, actually having a little bit of an okay day so far. Nicholas Samadio on the 47 car, reporting a flat tire here on lap number one. Jacob Young being held up behind him. Although he's holding his line, he had plenty of room to get by him as he he swings out wide to let Young go, but O'Shea plows right into the back of him. Plenty of damage for the 47 car on this first lap. Of course, he triggered the incident with the 93 of Annie Thomas and Gerald Reddington earlier this lap, so perhaps a little bit of retribution from that, but that's really going to hamper his day. He was 12 points back of Mike Doan in second, tied with Rusty Babinski actually. Both of, two of the top three uh, drivers in points having a very bad start to their days in Road America. Lap two now, the top ten stringing themselves out just a little bit, running single file for the most part. Uh, Tyler Markell and the ten and Ryder Smith uh, here in the seven being the uh, exceptions just Outside the top 10, around 15th place they are racing for right now. The 7 can't get a move done on the 10 for now. Ilya Bondarenko trying to make his way forward early on here as well. Brandon Craston, the 09 car, having a good start. Currently in fourth, but completely misses the apex of turn number one on lap three. And here comes Mark Nutt up the inside. Very well-timed maneuver. Might be able to get it done. Into turn number two. Yes, very easily clears the 09 car through there. Mark Nutt appears to have a fast car. He's moved up a couple of positions since the start of this thing. Alex Tanker, though, still currently leading in the 15 car, the 99 of Matt Duncan, and Terrence Day in the uh, in the Firebird just behind. Onboard Matt Duncan here in the number 99. He's taking a look on the 15, potentially into the corner. Has to back out of it. Drives it really hard into that corner and loses about a, a car length on the 15 out of it as a result. But that 99 car does appear quite fast as he's, he again kind of misses the apex through turn number two. But for, given a few more laps experience, I believe he could definitely challenge the 15 for this win. Tanker just a little bit more consistent for now. Sawyer Girl alongside Matthew Nicholson for the all-important position of 25th. That kind of sucks. Uh, Sawyer Girl. Currently fourth in points, 19 points back of the points leader, Mike Doan. Doan in the second race, and he, he is starting in a poor position, 32nd himself. So it doesn't appear any of the drivers doing well in points 
will do well here today in either round. Um, considering it's very hard to pass at this racetrack, as kind of been as it's kind of been shown by the amount of single file racing here today. Uh, Luke Walker in the 100 car, just behind, have, having a poor run. He has done not so much this season. A bit of a disappointment for him um, after, I, I believe he did very well in points last year. Uh, but anyways, my, uh, William Duncan is, is, of course, back here in the in the 6 car, running 27th at the moment. William doesn't seem to know the concept of a good run this season. Uh, his teammate Matt Duncan is currently in second, but that, uh, but William just doesn't seem to have gotten acquainted with that car over the course of the weekend. Mark Nutt is on a tear in that zero car. He's gotten by Terrence Day uh, in that 55 machine. Now going for a move on Matt Duncan in the 99, down into turn number one. This seems to be where he, he's able to make his passes and, and where that car is the strongest. Trying to hold off Terrence Day in the meanwhile, he's not going to be able to get it, uh, get the position from Duncan, but he is going to be able to hold off Terrence Day. Impressive job by him. Uh, Alex Tanker still leads here as we approach the halfway mark. Terrence Day taking a look on Mark Nutt through, I think that's turn eight. Uh, Mark Nutt, of course, challenged Matt Duncan earlier this lap. Terrence Day wants third back. It would be a great uh, day for him is if he's able to get a podium, but Michael Kane taking a look on the outside through the carousel, making it work so far. Very impressive job from Kane, who's not known for making some very impressive gains in races, usually known as a bit of a back parker and someone to watch out for uh, when driving by. Uh, but Brandon Craston, the 09, drives by the 55 as well, as does Spencer Fullerton, Terrence Day, really slow. Uh, this Lappy, I think he just had to get out of the throttle to avoid getting into Crasta through that corner. That's a critical element of passing at this track. It's just forcing the other driver to back out of the throttle. But Tristan Wilhoyd buying the number 11. He's had a good day so far, as, had and, as has Andrew Rick, despite his uh, early contact with Rusty Babinski and his ruined rear end. He is doing quite well uh, so far today. We're beginning to come up on the pit window as Will Hoyt comes into the pits. Terrence Day might um, also be a little bit uh, down on, uh, on t as far as tires go. For now, Jeffrey Fingai alongside the, tw uh, alongside the 55, rather, having a good day himself. Annie Thomas in the 93 had to pit for uh, the damage she received on lap number one after contact with Nicholas Samadio, currently well off the pace. And Tanker got by her without too much of a problem. Duncan having a little bit more trouble as everyone kind of stacks up behind Duncan. Here comes Duncan with a look on the inside uh, and manages to get the pass done before the corner. M Mark not very aggressive move to try and get the pass done through there. He will get it done uh, through the kink and down that long straightaway into Canada corner. Due to Annie Thomas, Matt Duncan and Mark Nutt are now a couple of seconds back from Tanker, but Tanker is coming up on another lap car, that of Richard Trelinski in the 71 car. But here comes Mark Nutt with a challenge on the 99 into Canada corner. He might make that stick. He's still alongside, very close racing up through, I don't know, turn 10 and 11 under the Toyota sign. Mark Nutt might get it done here into the final corner. Matt, yes, Matt Duncan runs very wide and he may lose another position to Michael Kane. Looked like he had some damage there for a minute. Brendan Crasta and Spencer Fullerton come into the pits this lap. Michael Kane and, and uh, Mark Nutt are some of the fastest cars on the track other than Alex Tanker and it'll be interesting as we come up on the pit cycle to see whether or not either of those guys can challenge Alex Tanker for the victory, but no, Matt Duncan holding on quite well on the outside, and Michael Kane might not get the pass done after all. These lap cars have generated a little bit more interesting racing here as Andrew Rick tries to get by the 71. Uh, Jeffrey Fingai t uh, looking as well on the 23 as, as the 23 tries to run along the outside of the 71 and is not successful. The 20 needs to get in front of the 23, otherwise, he may have some troubles coming into the kink. Here comes DJ Curtis on the 23. As we head into the corner, and Je Jeffrey Finga has to crack way out of the throttle in the 20 car and will lose several positions as a result. Uh, slipping in just behind Terrence Day, but Al Ghoul 
not uh, not satisfied wish just falling in behind Fingai and will make that pass on his own uh, up the inside. Now has to deal with t a very uh, slow Terence Day and Richard Trelinski right in front of him. Some great racing here. Trying to get around the lap car of Trelinski. Fingai goes after Trelinski for some reason. Uh, they make a little bit of contact through there. Could have been accidental. But either way, Fingai's finally going to get by the 71 car uh, right now. At the tail end of the field, these guys may not be fast, but I'm sure they're having fun as the, they were too wide for a couple of rows there. Jacob Young and Prudence Littlejohn going for a position. Prudence Littlejohn, of course, got a piece of the lap one incident and has just simply not been quite on the pace she was hoping for. Duncan's still back here as as he goes by Cameron Gadu in the 24, an even slower car. Coming up on the end of lap number 13, most of the field has yet to make their pit stops other than some drivers such as Brandon Crest and Spencer Fullerton who are going, who went for a, an early pit stop strategy in which they kept themselves out of heavy traffic. Uh, Alex Tanker and Mark Nutt both into the pits from positions 1 and 2. And Matt Duncan takes over the lead in that number nine, 99 car. Interesting strategy for him staying out an extra lap. It'll, keep, of course, keep him out of heavy pit road traffic, but he will be slower, certainly be slower, this lap than the drivers coming out on fresher tires. Out of the pits, Matt, uh, Mark Nutt with a very fast stop in that zero car. The 15 not too slow either. And here he comes, perhaps with a challenge on the outside into turn one off the pit lane, does not get it done. But he's right there on the number 15 car. It'll be interesting to see where the 99 comes out in comparison uh, to these guys in just one more lap. Spencer Fullerton back up into third in the 73. That uh, pit strategy does appear to have paid off for him as he gained several positions over the course of the race. He was around seventh or eighth before he made the pit stop, now up to third. Brandon Krasta in fourth, Michael Kane and Tristan Wilhoit, uh, currently fifth and, uh, battling it out for fifth and sixth, down here in into station five for the third to final time. Two to go up the hill, as Alex Tanker looks to overtake Nicholas Samadio. Matt Duncan still in his pit stall, get, only gets out now. Duncan may get into third if he can slip in front of Samadio, uh, sorry, rather uh, Fullerton into turn number one. Fullerton's of course going to have a full head of steam up on him, but he, but uh, Fullerton of course had to check up just as much getting into turn number one and Duncan slips into third back into a podium spot. Mark not having a little bit of trouble negotiating Nicholas Samadio has to go all the way towards the grass in order to get by him and he loses about a second on the number 15 car, he's got to close in on, on that 15 in the remaining lap and a half if he's going to challenge him for the victory. We know Mark Nutt is fast, but is he fast enough to catch that 15 in that amount of time? Here comes Spencer Fullerton taking a look on the number 99. He wants a podium run. Um, hasn't, hasn't done so well this season. Other than a, the, his pair of wins on the dirt tracks, he's done almost nothing. And he would love to redeem himself on the road courses, where he, which is known kind of as his specialty before this season. Um, Brandon Krasta, though, looking on the 73 as, as Fullerton was completely unsuccessful with his pass on the number 99 and may lose a position to Brandon Krasta through here. However, uh, Fullerton may be able to slip in front of the 09 into the kink, and Michael Kane with yet another timely pass. What a career day for him, up to fourth in that number 75 machine. Tristan Wilhoit also having a good run for once in the 11 car. Through the carousel, just half a lap to go and Nutt has closed in on Tanker a lot. Through the kink, his best bet is going to be Canada Corner. He's been really able to close in on Tanker, drafting him down the straightaways. But Tanker is very consistent and he's going to really need to dive it into Canada Corner in order to get something done. He takes a peek into the corner, dives it in, but it's not going to work as he gets that car a little bit loose and misses the apex completely. And he will lose a couple of car lengths to Tanker. I think that's all she wrote for Mark Nutt's opportunity at the victory. And Alex Tanker is going to go pretty much flag to flag here in that number 15 machine. He is 22 back, uh, points back of Mike Doan. Of course, we don't know how many points Doan's going to get in race number two, but Tanker confirms himself as a major championship points contender by winning here in Road America. At the end of the day, Mark Nutt comes up half a second short. After starting eighth, 
making his way up six positions into that spot. He should be very proud of the run he had here today. He just didn't have the luck nor the consistency that Alex Tanker had um, during this race, particularly in getting by some of the lap traffic. Uh, Matt Duncan, third position in that number 99 car. He was side by side with Spencer Fullerton coming across the line and managed to hold on to that podium spot. Very good day for him, not so much for his teammate. Spencer Fullerton, fourth spot. Nice to see him finally get another good road course uh, finishing position again. He's had such bad luck on them so, uh, this year and a little bit last year as well. Michael Kane, a career day for him in fifth spot. Tristan Wilhoyd, sixth. Nice to see him do well for once. Brandon Krasta in seventh, very consistent all day. Al Ghul in eighth. Um, another solid road course effort from him. He nearly won uh, in Cape Town earlier in the year. One of uh, one of the best drivers in the Hart Pro Series when it comes to these road courses. Uh, dr driving for that underfunded uh, uh, 96 team. Uh, DJ Curtis in the 16 car will come across the line in ninth. And Terrence Day in that Firebird will round out the top 10.